Now Central Oregon's local alert weather with Jordan Williams. Good evening, Central Oregon. Happy Tuesday to you as well. This is what we've seen across Central Oregon, across the high desert for really the last week and most of today and what we'll see for the rest of the week. Just a bunch of cloud coverage. We can see maybe just a little bit of sunshine for us here at the Aubrey Butte camera, but this is why we're seeing that. You can see this system making its way through. Now, we're not seeing any rain showers. That's up in Portland and Seattle. They've seen a lot of rain from that bomb cyclone, but that system making its way kind of to the northeastern parts of Washington and you can see kind of a closer look at that water vapor and why we're not seeing uh, any rain in the central Oregon area at least for most of us there are a few parts of central Oregon that will see some rain and it's kind of a good thing that we're not seeing any rain because we've actually seen more than what we usually see in the center of your screen usually we see about a half an inch this month but in the last week or so this is for Redmond we saw about three-fourths of an inch so just in the last week or so we already saw what we normally see for the whole month so We've already seen more rain than we usually see, which is a good thing, but in the next couple days could be seeing some more rain, which is a welcome sight considering how dry it has been this year. But a closer look at what we could be seeing later tonight, Warm Springs, Sisters, Sun River, and Lapine. This is up until Wednesday. Those are really the cities that could be expecting to see some rainfall on Wednesday and Thursday. Those cities could see some rainfall anywhere from 20 to 40%, but for the rest of us, for Redmond, and Prineville and Bend, we're not expecting to see any chances. Those would be very, very slight at about 10%. And then on Thursday, early Thursday morning, again, may see some rainfall though, but that's particularly for Warm Springs, Madras, Sisters, Sun River, and Lapine. So up in Jefferson County and then parts of Deschutes County could be seeing that rain, but none for Prineville, Redmond, or Bend. And then we get to Friday, early Friday morning. That's when everybody could be seeing some rain, some showers at about 30%. Uh, that percentage is higher though in some places like Lapine and Sisters at about 50 to 60% for some rainfall. So expect some rain on Friday, but the good news is things will start to clear up Friday evening. We start to see those clear skies, and then for most of Saturday, we'll see clear skies. Partly cloudy, but no rainfall. Uh, so that's good news for all the kids out there doing some Halloween activities. Our current wind speeds, seeing some westerly breezes anywhere from 10 to 15 miles per hour up in Madras, Prineville, Bend, and Sisters, the rest of us around that 5 to 10 mile per hour range. Our current conditions right now in the central Oregon area, 60 degrees for Warm Springs. That's our top number, followed by 57 for Redmond, 50s for Madras, Prineville, Bend, and Sisters, and then a 48 for Sun River and Lapine. Our forecast lows later tonight, we saw them early this morning, kind of around that freezing number, particularly for Sisters Bend, Sun River, and Lapine. Sun River and Lapine still around that number, but Sisters Bend, Redmond warming up just a tad into the upper 30s, Madras, Prineville, and Warm Springs in that 40 degree range. Now here's a closer look at those percentages. Really like to break them down, but here's a closer look at what we can see. This is for Redmond. So 10% for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday is when we start to see those chances increase, and then Saturday and Sunday should see some fairly clear skies with temperatures right in the low 50s. Halloween is right around the corner. That's been a look at your weather forecast. We're back after this.